hi guys welcome back to my channel i am Brittany louise if you are new here how you doing hey hello hello so today i just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you hi to my new subscribers we are finally at the 500 mark y'all okay fam i see y'all y'all not playing y'all doing y'all things i just want to say thank you and i'm not sure if my 500th follower came from my instagram stories when i instagram and facebook because i post to both of them but i said whoever number 500 is going to be they gonna get their shout out on this next video it's the next video so congratulations to just j hey girl shout out to you you were number 500 so today we are going to get straight into this video i'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how i contour and highlight my round face so round face chubby cheeks whatever you want to call it i got it and i'm going to show you guys the techniques i use and some of this may not even be new to you but for some i know it is because i get those questions don't forget to like subscribe and share this video and we are going to dive right in Okay, so what is highlighting in general? I know it sounds like a dumb question. I know we know the gist of it, but for the ones who do not know, why do we even highlight in the first place? Highlighting is enhancing our facial features where light is drawn to. Every time you highlight, make sure you're facing your light source under the eyes, the nose, the forehead, the chin that is the basic areas where most people tend to highlight it that's where we want to focus on today so typically when you highlight you can use creams liquids or foundation so you can use any of those mediums or powders some people like to highlight and contour with powder only this this is typically my go-to like a creamy concealer that's what i'm going to use for highlighting my face today your face shape and your features are what determine how much highlighting and contouring is needed in my case i have a round face which means chubbier cheeks and less cheekbones in order to enhance the look of my cheekbones i usually bring my concealer down toward the end of my nostrils and blend it up towards the end of my brow bone creating the illusion of higher cheekbones as much as possible. Moving on to my nose, because I have a button nose, small nostrils, and barely a bridge, I have to highlight straight down the center, and sometimes I even have to double highlight on my nose so that I make sure that this, that the little bridge that I do have is extremely highlighted because again of a button nose little nostrils so i really want to try and enhance that bridge as much as possible so sometimes i'll go back in with some extra concealer and it might even be like a shade or two lighter just for the center of my nose so this will be my base shade and then if i need just a tad bit more enhancement I'll add a shade lighter. I blend my forehead and my chin right in the center of those areas and diffuse it into my foundation. Okay guys, now we are moving on to contouring. And contouring is the exact opposite of highlighting. Think of it as adding shadow. So wherever the light doesn't touch on your face, and typically it's always on the perimeter of your face. Under your cheekbones, the light doesn't hit as much jawline there's no light on the perimeter of our foreheads that is where light does not hit contouring adds shade adds contrast to your highlighting and actually adds depth back into your face because when we put our foundation on we are typically very flat right so we'll have our foundation on and then we add highlights with contouring we're bringing back depth now going back to my cheeks i always place the concealer right under my cheekbone 
it's great when you make faces when you have a rounder face sometimes you have to make faces so you can find the hollows of your cheeks also using your the top of your ear will help give a guidance of how you lay your base for contouring and then i like to roll my sponge a lot that really helps blend my highlight and my contour together and it looks a lot more natural versus my contour sitting right on top of my highlight and i always curve down and up for me because my cheekbones where the apples of my cheeks i'm always trying to get in line with the apples of my cheeks i use contouring less around my forehead because it's small now this is what i mean when i say that your face shape and features determine exactly how you're going to contour and highlight your face i don't necessarily contour my nose to slim it although you know it looks fine like that i mainly do it just to add some depth right here in the bridge of my nose right I want the bridge of my nose to stand out as much as possible. I really contour around my jaw lines because I want to slim up my face as much as possible. For reference, you can always use the bottom of your earlobe to help you figure out where your jaw line ends and begins if you trace my contour line up it starts at the bottom of my ear i want my highlight to be very pronounced on my chin but i don't want all my other chins to be highlighted so i'm trying to slim up that jaw as much as possible okay you ain't worked out yet for your resolution that's okay boo you just keep on finessing until you ready to go ahead and start that plan finesse girl just UBI. Then once I am done, I always set the areas with powders because I don't want my creations to move. And I like to use a lighter powder in the center of my face. And then typically on the perimeter of my face, I will always set my foundation with a deeper setting powder. This is a bonus. I didn't put a lot of powder on. I didn't need to. If you are like me and you want to really get a snatched face with round faces, I always take my highlight and do some low light. That is right in between my contour under my cheek and right in between that jawline. And typically I just use what's left over from my sponge, but because my sponge is so dirty, I'm gonna have to use more of a detailed brush. I will blend out this here and create a low light and what that is doing is giving me some extra carvings i want these jaws slim as possible i want the illusion as slim as possible i don't always do this but sometimes it's necessary okay and i'll typically go over it with my deeper translucent powder so now you're looking at a more snatched face okay guys so that is it for highlighting and contouring on my round face i hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope that you guys learned something again even if you don't have a round face just the basics of highlighting and contouring i dropped those little bits of pieces in there for you so basically in a nutshell Places that you want to slim up, you use contour. Places that you want to draw the light into, you add highlight to, right? Let me know some of your favorite techniques and favorite brands, products that you like to use for contouring and highlight. List them down below for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, especially if you received some value from this video. Even if you didn't receive any value from this video, somebody might. So go ahead and share this video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.